Since making my video detailing my hypothetical water type gym, I've gotten loads of comments from you guys about all of the different types of gyms you would have. From a fairy type ballerina gym, to volcano gyms, to even a literal workout gym, you guys have had some great ideas and I love going through and reading them. I thought it would be kind of fun to make this video a semi-sequel to that one and share some of the cool statistics I collected from the comments of that video. First off, let's start with how many people wanted to have each different type of gym. A quick note first, all of the data I'm going to be talking about in this video was taken on August 22nd, which was unfortunately kind of a while ago, and I apologize in being so late to create this video. Because all of the data was taken on the 22nd of August, anybody who commented on the 23rd or later won't have their comment counted into any of the statistics I'm going to be talking about. Despite not being up to date with all of the comments, however, there were still 1,345 comments that I sorted through and graphed out. So let's jump right in and take a look at what the most popular types are, as well as the least popular. The type that the most people wanted to use if they were a gym leader, which was 189, was actually one that I didn't really account for. Multi-type. 189 people wanted to have a gym where they weren't confined to using just one single type, but could instead use a wide variety, such as a fire and water type gym, or a gym filled with only their favorite Pokemon, or even a gym based on a theme, such as the Evolutions. We've only had one gym leader before who has done this, and it seems like it's a very rare occurrence in the Pokemon universe. Not being restricted by types does allow you more creative freedom when choosing your team, however, so I totally understand why so many people would choose to have more than one type if they were a gym leader. Coming in at a surprisingly close second is Fire Type. If we don't count multi-type gyms, then Fire Type is definitely the most picked type, as it comes in at 174 votes. Dark, which is the third highest type, only had 121 people wanting to use it, so there's a massive margin between the people who chose Fire type and the people who chose Dark. The rest of the types sort of taper off gradually from there. After Dark, there is Dragon type with 117 votes, Ghost with 97, Water with 88, Steel with 75, Grass with 68, Electric with 67, Psychic with 56, Flying with 46, Fairy with 41, Ice with 38, Fighting with 36, Ground with 35, Poison with 34, Normal with 30, Bug with 23, and last but not least Rock, with only 10 people wanting to be Rock type gym leaders. Here's a better view of all the data I collected on what types of gym leaders you guys would want to be. Multi-type and Fire seem to be in a league of their own, with the 53-person gap between Fire and Dark-type. Even though we've never seen a Dark-type gym yet, that didn't stop you guys from wanting to be Dark-type gym leaders. I'm a little bit surprised that Rock-type barely got to 10 votes. I'm not particularly a fan of Rock-types, like, at all, but I thought for sure that more people would want to be Rock-type gym leaders than Bug-type gym leaders. Somewhere in the distance, I'm pretty sure Brock is crying because of this. To finish up this video, I wanted to talk about some of the cool gym ideas you guys had. I'm not going to be able to go over every idea you guys said, but a lot of you guys actually had very similar ideas, so I wanted to share three ideas I saw a lot in the comments. One idea that I saw in almost every comment about being a fire-type gym leader was having a fire-type gym either inside of a volcano, or like next to one, or even on top of one. Everyone who wanted a gym like this had a different idea on how it would be set up, but the common factor was always that a volcano was like the center focus of it. Some people wanted you to use a boat to cross the lava, others wanted a puzzle where you would have to cool lava to make it to the center, and there was just a bunch more like that, and I thought they all sounded pretty cool and unique. Another idea I saw a lot that fits in with the multi-type gym was an evolution gym that would pretty much just be full of EVs and their evolutions. Eevee has 8 evolutions now, and you could probably divide all of them up between the gym trainers and the gym leader to make a pretty cool gym, I think. If we ever did see any non-monotype gyms like this, I would love to see the evolutions get kind of their own centric gym. In a similar vein to the multi-type Eevee gym, I saw a lot of people wanting gyms that were based on specific strategies and stats, rather than specific types. Many people said that they want to be a gym leader and focus on using Pokemon that excel at stalling, or using a team full of physical sweepers, or even making a team full of high defense wall Pokemon. 
Having gym leaders focus on specific strategies or stats would be very different from how gym leaders are handled now, but I think it's an interesting idea and personally, I'd love to see something like this in real Pokemon games. The final gym idea I want to talk about is an electric type arcade gym. Many people who said they wanted an electric type gym also said they would like to have it as an arcade too. One person even suggested that in order to get to the gym leader, you would have to play different arcade games in order to progress throughout the gym. I thought this was a neat idea and I even made a couple of early mock-ups of a potential arcade gym too. Anyways, this was sort of a pseudo sequel to my If I Was a Gym Leader video. Because there was such a large response to it from you guys, I just wanted to try and compile all that information and share it back with you guys. Anyways, hopefully you found the info in this video as interesting as I did, and hopefully this makes everyone rethink being a Rock-type Gym Leader. Seriously though, Rock-type Gym Leaders need all the people they can get. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.